everybody. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> my- Welcome to another episode of Conscious Straight Talk with Katie and Lindsay. Hi, my name is Katie Hutchinson, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I'm also a certified mediator, and we're so happy to have you guys today. I'm Lindsay Kearns. I'm the mama behind MalibuMamaLoves.com, and I'm also a certified conscious trauma-informed life coach. Did you guys know that we officially declared our freedom from Britain on July 2nd? Not what? July 4th That's in crazy. 1776. That is right, though. On July 2nd, 1776, our Congress voted to approve a resolution declaring our dependence. independence. Yay, <laughs> America. We celebrate July 4th because mm-hmm. that is the day the members of our Congress met and began signing the Declaration of Independence. Right. But the Declaration of Independence was not finished until August 2nd of 1776, which is interesting. But the date that they started signing was on July July, 4th. Well, July 2nd, but we said July 4th. Oh, July 4th is when we start. Yeah, okay, got it. (laughs) So that makes sense, yep. That's when we celebrate. uh, Now, I grew up in Rhode Island where we still have the actually oldest and longest running 4th of July parade. Uh Uh-huh. Um, in the entire United States of America. So it is like a really big deal in Rhode Island. Mm-hmm. We um, have this huge parade. Everyone gets on their boats. They just have all these barbecues. Everyone's celebrating. It's and fun. it's so much fun. Yeah. So when I moved here, uh-huh. I feel like it's a little bit more of a low-key celebration in SoCal. No, you're just in the wrong area. But they do have great fireworks. <laughs> I grew up in Newport Beach, and we started partying early. We started getting ready at, like, 6 a.m. We were on our bikes by 9 a.m., drinking, you know, in our jean shorts and our little crop tops that are in Those style again. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then everybody would just have parties. Just you'd go from party to party to party to party on your bike until you can party anymore that's what it's like in bristol so much fun <laughs> yes it was a blast <laughs> I had those fun, days, right <laughs> yes but i know that a lot of people are going through things right now right because mm-hmm. in these times that it's most important to spend some time appreciating what freedoms and rights we do have it's true you know especially with roe v wade and everything that's been going on the yep. war mm-hmm. um all these crazy things you know it's important to remember to take some time to really appreciate. And this midsummer holiday is a great opportunity mm-hmm. to spend some time appreciating your family, your mm-hmm. friends, and all of your blessings. It's true. Appreciating and showing gratitude is a super important part of maintaining a balanced mental health. In positive psychology research, studies show that gratitude is strongly mm-hmm. and consistently associated with greater happiness. The thing thing. is, yeah, the thing Mm -hmm. is gratitude helps people feel more positive emotions, right? When you're feeling positive and you're appreciating what you have, you relish these good experiences. It can improve your health. Mm -hmm. It helps deal with adversity Mm -hmm. and it builds really strong relationships because at the end of the day, we all really like to be appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yep. That's why I do this job. Yep. So today we wanted to remind you to spend some time appreciating your family. It's so important. You never know when you're going to lose your family. And it's so wonderful to have your family and your friends. Yeah. So appreciate them. Appreciate mm-hmm. the food that you have. Appreciate the toilet that you have that has running water. Cause that's a really nice gesture. <laughs> I appreciate electricity. Right. Yeah. And just appreciate your surroundings. Right. Exactly. There's so much to appreciate. We literally could be here like all day talking about it. Mm -hmm. And I just want you guys to notice the high you get when you do start to acknowledge and appreciate all of the good around you. When you shift your focus to the positive, it changes everything for you. It does. It may be hard to see through the darkness, but there really is light everywhere Mm -hmm. when we decide to see it, you guys. It's true. I'm going to appreciate this mojito by the pool today. I can tell you that. (laughs) Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Happy 4th of July, everybody. Yes, but by the way, no drinking and driving. And buzz driving is drunk driving, right? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Have a happy 4th. Bye. Bye. Bye.